Hey guys! It's Drake! And Guapo! Well, I was going to have a discussion today on something that I found on the internet. And at first it wasn't disturbing to me, and then it became disturbing to me. I know that sounds weird. But maybe it'll sound disturbing to you as well. Or maybe not. But it seems that one of the results of cruise lines increasing their prices of drink packages is that people have been trying to sneak liquor on board. Really? No way. So, I was thinking about this, and obviously a corporation has to earn money in order to stay in business. After this whole situation, cruise lines are in a huge amount of debt. And they've had to sell paper on secondary markets and do a whole bunch of other stuff as far as for stocks. But one of the ways that I guess that they're gonna recoup their money and maybe not all of it all at once, is that they charge for drink packages. Okay, I got it. They estimate that about 19%, around 19, 20% of people are going to try to sneak alcohol on board. Now, a lot of people, if you Google this, have been asking, number one is this theft. And they've also asked, is it wrong? Is it wrong to do this? And what are the penalties for doing this? And number four is how do they try to do this? Well, let's take number four first. It's probably not as bad or hard. It's probably not as hard to sneak alcohol onto a ship as it is to try to sneak illicit drugs into a federal prison, right? I, I, I don't know if the security is, is on par with both, but I would figure, okay, it's really not, not that bad. However, there is security. You still have to go through your x-ray machine. You have other people there checking your bags and going through the bags. And they're probably used to seeing or profiling who's going to try to bring drinks on board. They're also in there probably thinking to themselves, okay, we've seen this particular product as to how we can get these things on board. And when I say products, there are files of products out there from, I am not making this up, if, if you Google this, if you look, there's a bra out there that you can put liquor in a bra. Uh, there's also underwear that you can put liquor in uh, and, you know, have it as a, a little tube coming out. You, you get the idea. You, there are um, plastic bladders that will lay flat on your clothes so that you can store and pack them. It goes on and on. Shampoo bottles, um, uh, suntan lotion bottles, what, whatever kind of bottle you would think. Of course, the old trick of the mouthwash that with the food coloring, right? Let's just get a bottle of scope. O-M-G. Two ingenious ways my cruise is going to allow me to bring one bottle of wine. So what I'm going to do is take out the cork without putting a hole in it. 
I'm going to take out, of, uh, take out the cork, fill it up with whatever hard liquor I want, and then put the cork back in and put a seal on the cork. Absolutely amazing. I mean, what people obviously will come up through is an inventive. I was surprised that there wasn't a method of let's have a drone and my friend on the pier and when I get onto the ship I'll go up to the Lido deck and then you know I can tell him through my phone to guide the drone over to drop off the product that kind of thing you know or having like little little boats where people row and someone dropping down a rope with a bucket you know really seriously Let's go to the second thing, which is, is it illegal? Well, from what I could find, and this could always change, you could find something different, because remember, there are a bunch of different laws that are going on. I mean, you have international law, you have laws of what state you're going out of, and, and counties, and so there are a whole bunch of different things. But I wanted to break it down to the easiest as to, okay, look, forget about if someone's going to go to jail or not jail or, you know, civil penalties, this and that. What would really would this really break down to? And in my opinion, and I'm not a lawyer, I'm not allowed to practice law and I don't hold a bar card. This would be breach of contract. Before you get onto the ship, you're signing a contract with a company saying that you're going to do X, Y, and Z. You've obviously broken the liquor policy because they say no outside food or drink. And now, all of a sudden, it's like, well, that's that's where you're at. You've you've broken the policy. It's it's basically a breach of contract, not a tort, but a, a, a breach of contract. So, what are the penalties if you get caught? Okay, well, they could choose to confiscate your liquor or choose not to. Obviously, they're probably going to choose to confiscate your liquor. They could choose to give it back to you at the end of the trip or they could choose not to. Typically, they don't. Although, I've heard some places that it's like, hey, you know what? This was your liquor. Here you go. You know, try not to be upset with it. They know that one out of five people are doing this. Then, there could be that we don't want you on our ship and all the money that you just spent is now gone now you might be saying to yourself well that's not fair but they didn't break the contract first did they you did oops you're the one who came up with this genius plan in order to save some money which then brings me to my, my basically other point, which is this. How much money are you really saving? How much liquor do you think you can sneak on board? These people probably get updated every single week as to a new product as to what they can have as far as sneaking onto a ship. How much could you bring? I mean, think about it. You know, one ounce, right, or one shot glass. And typically in my drinks, I like it double. So how much do these bags really hold? How much liquor are you being able to bring onto a ship? For me, the benefits do not outweigh the risks. It's kind of pointless. Because I do something which most other people do, which is... A drink package. Now you might say to yourself, well, the drink package is pretty expensive and, you know, I'd have to drink a lot of drinks. But what I found on that cruise with that salt air is that I go through drinks like crazy. And I start drinking really, really early where in my regular life I don't at all. I don't normally wake up to the day with a coffee with Kahlua and Bailey's. I don't normally wake up and have a mimosa with my eggs benedict, but on my cruises I do. As far as for right after that, being very thirsty and grabbing a Pepsi or two or Coke uh, and having my energy drinks to going into having a double bourbon on the rocks, 
I could see where I'm getting the value of a dream package almost immediately. The last thing that I wanted to bring up is this. If you don't agree with this as far as for bringing in your own stuff, and I understand I'm, I'm frugal as well, and there are ways to be frugal and ways not to. What other things do you have issues with? Are you the kind of person that says, oh, look, that person's door to their cabin is open? Well, let me just go in and check it out. You know, the smaller things lead to the bigger things sometimes. I'm not saying people are crooks because they are trying to smuggle drinks onto a ship. To me, I think it's kind of funny as to cat and mouse. Maybe the ships get together and say, if you can figure out a method to do it that we can't catch you, you know, we'll give you a discount on the drink package. Brilliant! Huh? I don't know. I just look at it and it, it seems to me like it's spy versus spy. And it's probably always going to go on. It's probably going to always go on in time. I am what Willis was talking about. What are you going to do? You know, it is what it is. But still, I, I think there are better ways if you wanted to. If you wanted to save money, you don't need the balcony cabin. You could go with an inside. Ain't no one got time for that. You know, but it's nice going up to a bar and saying, you know, give me my drink and not having to worry about anything. It's all included. That's really all I have to say. If you have any comments, you know, please put them in below as to what your thoughts are. Uh, I've thought about it extensively over the last week as to, as to how people can sneak on drinks and, and I just can't get over it. I think it's kind of funny in a way, but I also think it's kind of sad. And I'm not trying to take this moral position and tell everybody how they need to live their life. That's, that's not me at all. So anyway, thanks for watching this video and supporting this channel. I really do appreciate it. I really like making these videos. If you can hit the subscribe button, uh, click on the bell and notify and, and share this with your friends. Really, really trying to build up the subscribers so that we can keep this going on. Thanks. God bless. And have a great day. Bye.